Good morning, Raider Nation. This is the Raider Nation podcast, the pregame show, the pump up for your game against the Buffalo Bills. Yes, Raider fans, we are having the Bills for lunch at 115 at McAfee Coliseum, and we will definitely be having for lunch. We hope, and I hope, and I'm absolutely positive, actually, that Lamont Jordan will tattoo his name across the Buffalo Bills record books in this game. They have one of the worst defenses against the run in the league, averaging 10.5 yards per run. That's what's going on against the Buffalo Bills. So Lamont Jordan should have a record day along with Crockett. They both should be able to work over the Buffalo Bills defense. So let me go on to something that I find very interesting because I did go to the Buffalo Bills podcast. I listened to Leo and Saul, who are the podcasteers, and they work for the Chronicle and the Dem- the Press Democrat in New York, in Buffalo, New York. They have no love for the Raiders. I have no doubt because we have shellacked them in the past. They don't like their coach either, but they did call us the Los Angeles Raiders, which I thought was pretty funny. Uh, we've only been there for 10 years. They should take a look and find out on the map where we actually are playing on Sunday. So... Their site is kind of, you know, new, and you can tell that they're new podcasters, so they're just getting their feet in the water. However, there doesn't seem like they're new sports writers because they seem to know what they're talking about, but they seem to be very uncomfortable in the podcast forum, unlike Raider Greg from Raider Nation Podcast. So they described in their podcast the black hole, the Oakland Coliseum, as a hole as a real shame and detriment to National Football League, and they don't understand how Al Davis could have bought a, brought a club and played in Oakland. They call it the worst place to have a stadium. They say that you have to watch your back at every turn. Well, you know and I know, Raider fans, that that is certainly not true because I'm bringing my four kids there this Sunday, and I wouldn't bring my kids someplace where I thought they'd be in danger. Absolutely not. And the other thing he was uh, mentioning was that it's in the worst part of town and is one of the worst stadiums in the league. Well, I've been to Buffalo, and believe me, it's nothing to write home about. And New York, well, need I say more about that? Anybody who's been there knows that New York isn't all that and a bag of chips, if you know what I'm trying to say. They also talk about the Raiders uh, as a winnable game, a game that they can win and (laughs) <laughs> I still can't believe they call the, the Coliseum a real pit. That just flips me out. Evidently, these guys have not spent any time in the parking lot. They must be so paranoid that they hide and they sneak through the back, or maybe they wait till the game started before they go into their seats because one of the guys, Leo, says he's been to the game, and he said he wore his black leather coat because he was afraid to wear his colors. Well, let, Raider Nation, let me tell you, I've seen women, I've seen children, I've seen everybody from opposing teams wear their colors to the Coliseum. Yes, they get harassed. What do you expect? If you go to another stadium and you wear your silver and black, you're going to get harassed too. That's just the nature of football, and it happens everywhere across the league. I don't see any knives or gun clubs or anything else going on. I don't see anything at the Coliseum at all. I wouldn't bring my children there if I thought it was dangerous. It's not anyways. The Raider Nation has a lot of class, and I've seen it many times in the 10 years I've been going to see football games at the Oakland Coliseum. Now, the simple game game plan, like I said, Norv, this should be his game because it should be a running game for the Raiders. They have a very porous line, and we should do very well. A passing game, however, there's a different story. They have very good backs, and Kerry Collins is really going to have to watch himself on those passes. But here we go. They they gave me a special thing, which I'm so happy to share with the Raider Nation because this is wonderful. They left the phone number so you could call and leave a question for these two guys, and so I called and I left a question for them. And you can imagine what I said. I'm not going to say what I said. Hopefully they'll play it on their podcast because I didn't use I didn't drop the F bomb or anything else. But if you Raider fans would like to leave a little message for Leo and Sal, this is how you do it. Their phone number is 585-258-2555. May I suggest and encourage the Raider Nation to call Leo and Sal and let them know how you feel about their comments about your Coliseum 
and your Raider Nation because they certainly dissed you. And you might want to remind them also that the Raiders are the Oakland Raiders, not the L.A. Raiders. That is all I have to say of this podcast. We will go and be victorious in this game, I am sure. The other thing I wanted to remind you fans about... Why don't you click on to www.raidernationpodcast.com. There are two brothers in arms, Raider Nation fans from the U.K. that are coming to the Bay, and their pictures are on the website. If you see them, they have a Union Jack with Raiders across it. It's silver and black. It's a beautiful thing. Check it out. If you see them, invite them over. Give them a cocktail beverage or a beer or whatever. Invite them to your tailgate because they've traveled an awful long way to see us be victorious against the Buffalo Bills. And until next time, the postgame show will be coming up Monday or Tuesday, probably Monday. I am Raider Greg, and I am out. <laughs>